What's up, spectators? Welcome back after years of no video content at all. I am happy and proud to pr announce that not only am I releasing a video again today, but it is for the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I told myself years ago when I did take my indefinite break that if there were ever to be a new Layton or Ace Attorney game released that I would come out of hiding and actually make time for this. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time uh, talking about what I've been up to just because this is a video and not an update video, uh, but a video for Ace Attorney specifically. But what I will say is I'm going to make time for this. This does not mean I will have time for my other games that I left off on, N not necessarily. Um, but for now, this game came out uh, this month, July 20 2021, on Steam, finally, since it was originally released on the 3DS in 2015. I know there have been teams that have been trying to fan translate this and using emulators to actually run it. And I've looked into this before years ago, but it, it, it it seemed far too complicated at the time, but finally here, here, here uh, by God, I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've spoken in, uh, vocally, especially with the pandemic. I don't generally talk, uh, so please forgive me. Uh, Ace Attorney Chronicles should have both the Ace Attorney, uh, Great Ace Attorney Adventure, which is the first one that came out, as well as the sequel, which was called Resolve, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do videos between 30 minutes and an hour. Um, ideally every day, no guarantees, but that's what I'm going to shoot for. And I will be doing both. And, yeah, I, you know, I have high hopes. So, let's see, I'm using a PlayStation controller on this. Um, naturally, because it's a Steam game, it's assuming I'm using a, uh... Xbox controller, which is frustrating, but you know besides that it, it looks great. The music already is fantastic naturally uh, If I choose select, okay, yeah, if I choose select adventure it should give me the option between Oh Interesting these are the various actual parts of the first game Oh, this is right there ace attorney adventures awesome. Okay. Well, let's go right into it. I suppose uh, chronologically speaking, this takes place uh, before all of the preceding Ace Attorney games. This is, you know, uh, at some point in the 19th century, this is supposed to be Phoenix Wright's uh, ancestor. Um, and that's, you know, that's about as much as I know. I know for legal reasons they had to rename some of the characters, like Sherlock Holmes to Herlock Holmes. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. One man. The turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. <sighs> Lovely. Just like Ace Attorney, to that begin by accusing the protagonist of the crime. Twenty second November, eight forty three AM, Supreme Court of Judicature. Defendants Antichamber five. I still can't believe it. I can't believe this is happening. How can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber 
is the highest court in Japan, waiting to decide my fate. Wow, these are sound effects I have not heard in a very long time. What? Naturally, if you're familiar with the previous games, this, despite all of the, the, the aesthetic being completely different, this is identical to the other courtrooms, where it pans to the left, and there you have the uh, bailiff standing there. Oh no, nothing. Save your glares, murderer. <laughs> Sorry. Sheesh. My name's Ryunosuke Narahodo. Oh, look at that. Well, I guess they... It wouldn't make sense to give him a weird localized name because he's literally in Japan, from Japan. Not the, uh, Japanifornia that Phoenix is from. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. Again with the incidents! If you've seen my previous Ace Attorney games, it becomes a joke at that point how many times I have to say incident. Particularly international incident! Thank you, Edgeworth. And now here I am, awaiting my trial. That's it. Who's saying? That's enough. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer? Big fancy words. And until the judge has given his verdict on the case. No one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. It is a breezy courtroom. Or courtroom lobby. And yet I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Right, Ryunosuke? <laughs> oh, you. Of course. What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. Ah, 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 ah. There you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Like a loser. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. Yume University professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? <laughs> I don't think so. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. I can never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Runosuke. Man. I'm so used to Ace Attorney being on a 3DS that I am projecting to my computer that this looks truly fantastic. I'm a, well, Did they port it to Switch first? No. Switch and PC and everything else at the same time. Okay. Kazuma Asagi, my best friend. Also in his second year at Yume University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive considering he's still an undergraduate. Yeah, that seems a little unlikely, but, you know, it's the 1800s. I'm sure they didn't give a shit. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean much. Yet. You said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes. That's when this all started. Cue flashback music. Congratulations, Kazuma. It looks like you're going to get to study abroad at last. I know! I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and success in court. So, you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world. I'm really happy for you, and proud, as your friend. 
<laughs> As your friend, put her there, pal. There's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. I want to bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean, to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Then come with me. We'd have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together, as I'm sure they said. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. All right, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class Western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow, then. Partner. They're chummy in an unusual way. They speak to each other in a bizarre fashion. It was straight after that. That's when it happened. Asagi? Asagi what? May I have a word? Professor? <laughs> Professor? I didn't know you were coming. Well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now. Asagi? You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To his excellency's chambers, you mean? You insolent! Why? He was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man with the moustache? I feel as though I've seen him at university before. I see. I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. All right then, Ryunosuke. I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes. Thanks, Kazuma. Ugh. Awkward. If I may. Yes. You must be the defendant, Runosuke Narahodo, I believe. Yes, that's right. My name's Yujin Mikotoba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. Ah, Professor Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. <sighs> I think I've heard of that name. I only know all these specific things. I think I recall. Asogi has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. Really? He said I'm best friend? That's unusual. Again. As such, I feel you should know. Know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Asogi has been granted permission to go to study and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that that permission will be revoked and never granted again. Mm -mm -mm. As I suspected, you are unaware of this. Classic simpleton. I had a feeling Asogi may have chosen not to tell you. He's agreed to defend me knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered. But I don't understand. Why would the government do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. Believe it! But I... didn't do it. I swear it. I'm not a murderer. I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, commit seppuku. I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trial. What do you mean? You'll soon understand once proceedings get underway. But then what should I do? 
Well, <laughs> naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Right, so... As soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what will the question be? Surely not. Do you accept the accusations brought before you? Of course not. Defendant. Court's about to begin. Proceed. Ah, it would seem our surreptitious discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Man, if I could do a lemon grab voice, I would love to give the bailiffs a lemon grab voice. Yeah, I cannot. Not even close. Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving. There's no point in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyway. <laughs> This is it. If this trial goes badly, Kazuma's dreams of studying abroad are over. And what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And so, with absolutely no idea of what lays ahead, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. So now we're speaking in from the future, past tense, okay. My one and only chance of proving my innocence, the trial that would decide my destiny. Twenty second, November, nine o'clock a.m. Supreme Court of Judicature, courtroom two. So this is a courtroom. Man, this game looks good. No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. Of course, as this being the late 1890s or whenever this is, I'm sure, uh, this is, a uh, good old imperialistic Japan eh, in their golden age of darkness. The powers that have uh, that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. A trial that's closed to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. <sighs> but why? But why? It'll become clear in time. But for now... You need to concentrate, Ryunosuke. It's about to begin. Ugh. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be pain. I... It's been so long, it didn't even occur to me that they would have pain as the prosecutor in the first trial. Stupid me! Of course they would! And they, as they should! The court will now hear the trial of Runosuke Narahodo. The prosecution's ready, Your Excellency. As is the defense. Oh, what a judge. Like he's right out of, uh... Uh, Leighton... The Leighton crossover. Before we begin, there's no point of order I'd like to confirm. There is one point of order I'd like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defense advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. Do the rules mean nothing to you, peasant? As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. I love adding my own lines, assuming that if someone's listening to me and not actually watching the video, that they'll they'll take what I'm saying as what the game's put. <laughs> you know, that'd be... Nobody cares. <laughs> Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? This is it. This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say, I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? Wait and see. 
Kazuma's the lawyer here. I can't defend myself. If I said, I do, it would mean, it would be tantamount to lying. And I've been accused of murder for goodness sake. This is no time for lies. <laughs> I'll save that weapon for later. Try to stop fidgeting, Ryunosuke. It's distracting. But if I don't say I'll defend myself now, things could end very badly for my friend. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I'm standing here besides the defendant, I hope it's clear who will advocate yes! for his... I love his little eye twitch. What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? Kill him? I would like to inform the court that... That... I, Ryunosuke Naruhodo, will be defending myself. Aw, oh, it's not nearly as fun as the old judge reaction, that fuddy-duddy judge. What are you playing at, Ryunosuke? Professor Mikutoba told me everything, just now before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off. Mm. No, it's not that, really. It's just that I do think you can get me off. You can! Well, on the off chance that things do don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... Yes. I knew that's how you'd feel, which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. Because I'm a good friend. Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel, really? Objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent, he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruhodo? Oh. Yes, exactly. Exactly what I wasn't thinking. <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm not confident at all. In fact, my mind's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still. Try not to look so bewildered. <laughs> well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court. You must have perpetrated a most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judicature of Japan. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhodo? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. So let's start with the very simplest of questions. Uh, yes? Ha! Got it. Answered it. Next. Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I'd care to remember. But. Wait. I'm so nervous I can't even remember it. What was it again? Ryunosuke. Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. You know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court record. But I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with the press of right bumper. <laughs> Obviously, idiot. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just have to press right bumper for the court record? All right, there's no time to lose. Right bumper's gotten me far. It's how I graduated university. This is the list of evidence you've collected. Now try switching to people instead with right bumper. You'll find details about the victims in here. When you're done, just press B to go back, which on, of course, PlayStation is the circle. So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. 
Now nah, you'd better not keep His Excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section of the court record. Then press Y to present. Try it now. Oh, really? Interesting. So, like I said earlier at the beginning of the game, um, for reasons, they had to change Sherlock Holmes to Herlock Sholmes, which is entertaining. But also, John Watson is John Wilson. So, that's why it's John H. Wilson. The victim of this case, he was visiting professor of medicine at Umaine University from the British Empire. Yes! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. <laughs> at least you could remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England, invited to Umaine University three years ago. Indeed. Which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation, obviously, the AJTFN. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Yume University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education. Have you no honor? But I didn't do it. This case is coming under grave scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court, therefore, wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. <laughs> In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has these unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. Good, I'm glad that's not in question anymore, I guess. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class Western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow, then, partner. The British Empire. Wow. It's incredible to think. Wait. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still. I should go and say hello. So I went over to the professor's table. And introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruhodo. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? State before the court the cause of death. The cause of death. Well, obviously that was, uh... Runosuke. Remember that in court, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. But how? Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select present. Do it now. Post-mortem report. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. and was caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. Yes! Well. According to this document, the victim suffered a... hemorrhagic death due to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile! That's the post-mortem report, I take it. Sorry, yes, that's right. The, um... Post-mortem report. 
In the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Thank you, Counsel. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. The photographic print of the victim has been entered into the court record. He was shot from the front, in the chest, and subsequently died. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I am satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. Oh. Certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better apprise the court with the facts of the case, the prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. This is it, then. I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean, Dr. Mikotoba? Yes, clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Of course. When he was speaking with me before, he simply said, Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. He really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? Maybe, but... Any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is, rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. Only if you rein in that crazy headband and control the cold stares first. Wasn't he gonna announce the first witness? It's just like, just, we're just having a whole side conversation. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. This is one fancy dude. My name is Satoru Hosanaga. I am the head waiter at a Western-style restaurant called Le Carnival. Carnival. Oh, perfect. Are you all right? You seem to be coughing up some, uh, strawberry jam. To <laughs> the other side of that, uh, tablecloth is just pure blood. It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. You know, tuberculosis. Well, it really, really should. As everyone knows, the capital southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants, an Occidental Eatery, three days ago. Understood? Hosonaga-san. You will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. At once. And no petty interjections from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. Uh, perspiring maybe, but aspiring? <laughs> it was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few diners at that time of day. The lunchtime rush was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory of it, too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. It was when I was in the kitchen, putting away crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. And standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes! I agree! Hold on, let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up a gun that I found lying on the floor beside the professor, I didn't shoot him. Objection! I believe I asked you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur. 
<laughs> the next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, defended Narahodo, to death. Don't worry, Runosuke. You'll have your chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. If I may confirm one point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. <coughs> yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? No. There was no one else around at the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. What did he just say? There was no one else around? What's the matter, Ryunosuke? That's just not right. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello, there was a woman sitting opposite him at his table. Really? And that's not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Yes! Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Attention! Dear me, what are we going to do with you? With your blatant disregard for court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? Well, no. But I'm sure of what I saw. Hosanaga, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy. No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please have a look if you'd like. Let me see. Ah, a sketch of the establishment's layout drawn by yourself, I presume. That's right. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. Well, you're clearly a very conscientious waiter. Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well... Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Uh, of course. Here you are. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> Something certainly seems to have shaken him. The waiter's business card has been entered into the court record. <coughs> so. The court has now heard a... Uh, a, a, a what? A, a summary of the case. Yes, at the moment of the gunshot was heard in the restaurant. The only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we are looking at a black and white case here. Open shot case, Johnson. Defendant Narahodo. Yes, Your Excellency. If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I called this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But I must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. The prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. What do you think I should do? Kazuma. What do you mean? Well, I'm gonna be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for a more lenient sentence? Everyone keeps telling me that this trial's unusual, about these peculiarities. 
You've said it. Professor Mikitoba said it. And so has the judge and the prosecution. I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent. I trust you. And yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face? Is that it? If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty-bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Ryunosuke. The defense pleads not guilty, your excellency. All right. Well, it has been 40 minutes as of right now. Um, I'm going to cut it here. That way I can make sure everything's working fine, because naturally I'm using different software. It's been years since I've used any of my previous recording equipment. Uh, I have to make sure it's working all right. Um, if I'm lucky and everything pans out and everything looks good, this should be out today, July 29th, probably sometime in the early afternoon. Earlier if I'm lucky. And I plan to have another episode out uh, tomorrow morning, ideally. And yeah, we'll see from there. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, uh, maybe about my break or about the videos, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll, I will try to, uh, be vigilant on this particular video's comments. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I'll, I, uh, to release a video every single day until both this game and the following are completed. So, I guess until then... Thank you. I'm incredibly excited to do this. I'm incredibly happy to be back doing this for not just myself, but for you as well. And, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!